What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Box Mining, and let's take an executive look at today's news. We've got some really good news coming out of Fidelity. So Fidelity is launching its own crypto custody service. Custody services are all the rage these days. At the end of the day, when billion or trillion dollar funds are starting to come into crypto, they need to explain clients how they hold it. Hey, guys, um, how do you keep our crypto funds? Yeah, you know, accounting, Bob's got it. We got it in our own custody. It's totally legit. No, that definitely doesn't work on the institutional level. So this is why institutions need this type of way to store crypto and to store it safely for their clients. This caught my eye today as well. We got Justin Chan parading and saying they're giving out 5,000 BTT tokens who, to those who are unsuccessful on their ICO. You guys know my opinion on this. But hey man, it's an airdrop. So, oh Lord Justin, thank you so much for the airdrop. Let's see what we can buy with 5,000 BTT tokens. I did a quick calculation. 5,000 BTT tokens is around 60 cents USD. So I went around, I got my friends to see what you can buy with 60 cents USD worth of products. First of all, if you're in the mood for love, you can propose to your girlfriend with this new jewelry ring, which is also edible if you're hungry afterward too. If you don't like Tron and the way that they copy white papers, you can clean up that mess with this swipe. Want to host a party with friends? Well, bring pizza. And finally, if you're starving in this crypto winter because you bought Tron, well, we got some ramen noodles that can survive the crypto winter. And lastly, you can just bag all these up with a glad bag. So moving on to Litecoin, Charlie Lee made the headlines yesterday asked after he said he's adding confidential transactions onto Litecoin. This is pretty huge because Litecoin, like Bitcoin, you can trace where cryptocurrencies, like where Litecoin goes and where it comes from. And that's not really good if you want to spend it, right? So by adding confidential transactions, it can actually hide where that transaction is going. So it makes it more like Monero. And the cool thing about this and why everyone is excited is because how similar Litecoin and Bitcoin is. If Litecoin can successfully integrate confidential transactions, why can't Bitcoin? We're all looking at you, Bitcoin community. This is also pretty cool. Engine released a new update to the wallet, the Engine wallet, which is the wallet I use all the time. So what's pretty cool about this new upgrade is that you can actually change exchange cryptocurrencies between different coins. And, you know, that's been seen before, but what's special about this one, you might ask? And it's because you get to choose from different decentralized exchanges. So right now you can choose Kyber, Changely, and Bancor. And they even quote the rates for uh, which you can exchange your coins for. And also, it's no KYC and AML. So you can just basically switch between these coins at ease, which is pretty damn awesome. Also, whilst we're at it, you can scan this QR code with the engine wallet and you can receive some cool giveaway NFTs today. This is part of their community prize. Now we have KuCoin. KuCoin is delisting eight coins from their exchange. And some of the big ones like Polymath, Substratum are being delisted. And the reason why they're doing this is because of their special treatment rule, whatever that means. Now talking about exchanges as well, we got 15 days later, the Cryptotopia hack continues. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in a while because honestly, when you're when you're exchange hacked, um, you'd expect that you would defend that hack and try to move that crypto into a safe place. But it seems to be the case that Cryptopia is claiming that the hacker stole their private keys and then, then deleted it from the server. I think this is hot bogus. There's just no way that Cryptopia is so dumb as to not even buy a ledger or know about paper wallets that they can store and store safely away from hackers. Basically, what they're saying is they're totally incompetent and hackers are continuously stealing their money, which I really think a much more plausible reason is that they stole the money themselves and they're slowly trying to find exchanges where they can um, send that to and launder that money. Yikes. This is also quite cool. We got the first state licensed Bitcoin ATMs. So this is in working with Coinstar. So if you know Coinstar, these are the guys who you can dump their coins to and it converts it into cash. Well, now you can convert it into crypto and it's licensed across three states. I'm not in the US right now, but if you guys see one of these, send me a photo and at me on Twitter because I would love to see how this is going out and playing out. And talking about cards, we actually have hints from Opsins. So these are the guys behind Wax. They're actually thinking of potentially issuing cards. So there's a little hint on Twitter that says, in the, additionally, we're in the process of releasing our own Opsins slash Wax credit card, which you can cash out and use anywhere 
credit cards are accepted. That's pretty darn cool. For the last bit, I need your help on something because uh, someone reported that there was a fake box mining going around and sending this promotional material. So apparently these scammers are getting more sophisticated. They're actually writing a brochure for apparently fake box mining services. There's a tons of spelling mistakes on there. Obviously any project can still spot this, but there are still some who obviously fall for scams like this. So if you guys see like a fake box mining promoting, you know, promotional services for videos or video making services, just get the admins to ban it because honestly, this type of scam just should not fly in the space. And guys, that's it for today's video. I'll also be doing a sneak peek at the Ledger Nano X. This is the new one. And if you guys have any questions for it about how to use it or of its features, do shoot me down on a comment section, a comment on the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.